The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, one, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, one, two, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, What do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. 
green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. Brown bear sing along. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? Green dog looking at me. Green dog, green dog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? Do you see a brown bear? A brown bear? A red bird? A red bird? A yellow duck, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a blue horse, a green dog, a green dog, a purple cat, a purple cat, a white dog, a white dog, a black sheep, a black sheep, a goldfish, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see, that's what we see. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk striding by me. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? 
I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. Baby bear sing along. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk striding by me. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? A red fox, a red fox, a flying squirrel, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a rattlesnake. A screech owl, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me, that's what I see. Have You Seen My Cat? by Eric Carl. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat.
Have you seen my cat? This is not my cat. Where is my cat? Have you seen my cat? This is my cat. <coughs> the Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly, and it flashed its light, searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. There was a dog and a cat and an owl, their eyes reflecting the lights. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlight flooding the night. The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. 
No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. 
want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! Wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed 
his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, whirred a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But Nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared, Silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The end. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.